Questions for Tony? Right here on the right side. Tony, how did that angle feel in actual game conditions, and how much did the heat play a factor in this game? Uh, ankle felt better and better. Uh, I was a little bit uh, worried in the first quarter, but as I got warmed, uh, got a little bit of some rhythm, and the second half I felt great, and the fourth quarter even better, so I'm excited for, for game two. Tony, what was the key uh, to you guys play, play in the fourth quarter? And also, what do you think about the way you guys responded once you knew LeBron was probably out the rest of the way? Uh, just very proud of my team. You know, we kept believing, uh, kept pushing. We know it's not easy. Um, when Bosch hit that three, you know, it was a heartbreaker. But we came out in timeout. It was like hey, it's still a long game. Let's keep pushing the pace. We felt like they were getting a little bit tired. Uh, LeBron was asking for, for to, to be sub. And so we were like, let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing, get some easy baskets. And uh, came twice uh, in the paint, got some layups, you know, for Thiago. And we kept pushing. And... Danny made some big threes. Uh, Kawhi made a big three and finally a uh, breakthrough and uh, made some stops at the end. And so I think uh, overall, you know, the pace was good for us. Howard, next question. We just got to get the mic there. Tony, obviously everybody in the building could feel what the, the heat and humidity was like in here tonight. What's it like uh, trying to play through that? And do you have to try to account for it as, as the game's going on? Uh, me personally, it didn't bother me. It felt like in Europe. You know, it felt like I was playing in the European Championship. So, you know, we never have AC in Europe. So it didn't bother me at all. Did you, was there anything that the, the uh, training staff or anybody was doing during timeouts to try to make sure guys were hydrated more than usual or anything like that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I was just focusing on the game and uh, what I can do to try to help my team. Um, like, I, like I told you, like in Europe, you know, we, we're used to it. So, David here on the right. Tony, Dan, Danny had struggled all night shooting. How, how much confidence did do you think he still had in himself at that stretch and how much I was pushing him hard. I yeah. don't know if you saw, but every time out, I was screaming at him and encouraging him. And uh, I'm very proud of him because you never know when he's going to come. And nobody said it was easy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, last year he was on fire. But, you know, every finals is different. And um, he, he just, you know, kept his composure, kept playing defense. And in the fourth quarter, finally, you know, he made some big shots. And uh, I told him after the game, you know, I was proud of him. And uh, you have to keep playing. Uh, you're a young player, and you're going to get a lot of up and downs. And um, that's, that's what's going to show your character. And, uh, and tonight, you know, he stuck with it. Back left. Brent Freeman, KGB Radio. Tony, what does it say to commit 22 turnovers but still score 110 points and not to get too down on yourselves with three quarters of play when things seem to be getting away from you? Uh, I felt like, you know, we got lucky in a sense. You know, um, 22 turnovers, usually we lose those games. And um, that's not how we play. But you have to give a lot of credit to Miami. They have a great defense, great rotations. Uh, they have a lot of speed. And so we try to move the ball. We still got 30 assists, but, you know, they're going to create turnovers. That's what they do. And we just have to keep playing, make sure we don't have our heads down, you know, and keep our energy, keep our pace, because they're going to get steals. They, they're a great team. That's why they're in the NBA Finals. So we just have to keep playing. And overall, I thought we did pretty good with that. Mark, right here. Tony, over here on the right. When LeBron scored his last points, they were down by two points with four minutes left. When he left... How did the game change? Uh, I, I just think because of our pace, you know, uh, I really feel that they were getting tired. And um, I think uh, we made the stops that we made it, that we needed, and we make big shots. But, you know, when LeBron goes out, obviously you, you lose the best player in the world. So we realized that. So uh, took advantage of it. Last question, front left. Coach, I want to tell you, first of all, what did Coach Papa did to say to you guys, and then what do you do to prepare for game two, Tony? I think uh, game two is huge. Uh, I think we, we, didn't, we didn't do anything. You know, um, Miami lost uh, game one in 2012 and 2013, and they're the two-time champion. Uh, they're very, uh, they're very uh, like, focused, and uh, they have a great mentality. We know they, they're going to come back strong. So we need to stay focused um, and just have the mentality that we didn't do anything. We just won one game. Thank you, Tony. All right, thank you. Just an update. We will have